Hi everyone, this is an introductory video for the Advanced Intercompany Solution for Acumatica ERP. I'm Jim Carroll and with me today is Matt Butler. This Advanced Interco module supports intertenant, intercompany, and interbranch operations among all combinations of Acumatica entities operating on different base currencies and system versions. Today we'll focus first on an inventory transfer and then we'll allocate an expense across multiple operating entities. First, a little bit about the visual. In this view, we have three tenants on different currencies. Each tenant provisions various combinations of companies and branches. The intercompany module supports all their operations as depicted in examples numbered one through four at the bottom of the visual. As pictured, blue is the U.S. tenant with three companies and their branches. Green represents a tenant on Canadian-based currency. And orange is a Euro-based tenant with one company only. Now, Matt, let's get to the demonstration. In our first example, a U.S. company needs inventory. And after viewing inventory availability and making the appropriate requests, determines that a Canadian company has excess available inventory. So first, an order is placed from the U.S. company to the Canadian company. So Matt's processing the order right now. And for the demonstration, notice that we've kind of cleared the decks, so there's just a limited number of transactions, only the one we're using, which will make it easier to track. As the orders get placed, all the background due to, due froms, and associated debits and credits are automatic. So U.S. is placing a PO on Canada then Canada will auto-generate a sales order and, of course, a pick ticket. And then an invoice will be auto-generated and programmatically entered into the U.S. company as the goods get shipped. So currently, Matt, we're working on the shipment, so we're generating a tracking number. And, of course, all of this is, gets automated with Acumatica and its scheduling tools and its punch-outs to the likes of uh, parcel post carriers and the like, but we're walking through the manual transactions so that you can track, uh, track the handshake between the U.S. and the Canadian entities. So we have shipment 18. So here we got a shipment number ending in 84, source reference number. And as the automation occurs between Canada and the U.S., you'll see that document number up here on the left or the U.S. side. You can see the associated sales order, which is here, ending in 4379, as well as the actual the actual um, track number as well. Perfect. So on full circle between two different instances, completely different instances of Acumatic. Okay, so next. Okay. We're going to move now to the example of the financial transaction. We are. So this is one that's not associated with inventory. So an example here could regard a multinational corporation's payment of the annual Acumatica ERP subscription, where each of its subsidiaries and their companies pay their share. So corporate here is making the payment, which is then auto-allocated across the participating companies with the debits and credits automatically imply, applied, as well as the currency conversions as the assumption is various companies will be operating on different base currencies. And here we have 
the transfer for invoice AR006014. As you can see, our AR invoice on the U.S. company has an associated bill in our Canadian company now. So. so thank you very much, Matt. At Advanced Solutions and Consulting, we like to say save serious time and money with our solutions. This has been an introductory to the inter to our inter advanced intercompany solution. Uh, please reach out to us in the marketplace or at cloudyrpsoftware.com for more. Thank you.